Hi friends! Welcome back! Today we are going to read Inspire Kindness by Lily Lopez. Um, kindness is contagious and kindness is a beautiful practice for everyday life. We can spread kindness and feel great about doing it, but also make other people feel really happy. How are you spreading kindness? So today we are going to read this book and it's a cute short story about spreading kindness. Here's our main character and she's entering a new class. I was standing on my own but no one cared. I was tanned and skinny and raven haired. In a classroom full of kids, I didn't look the way they did. I was so uncomfortable and could j just curl, although I'm not a super nervous kind of girl. To be a new kid on the block had really come as quite a shock. So you can see she's feeling really nervous. Have you felt nervous at any point during school? What makes you feel nervous? What things makes you feel a little bit worried or nervous? And sometimes we call it the jitters. My name is Lily. I said to everyone, I think school is very fun. My favorite subject is reading and I like social studies, recess, and eating. What are some of your favorite subjects in school? I like lunch too. I also like recess. So I found my desk and settled down, but the boy who sat beside me wore a frown. From the look upon his face, I don't think he wanted me in this place. Hmm, that's not nice. We don't want to ever make friends feel unwelcome. I admit I found the classes very tough, for my English maybe wasn't very good. Many words were not the same. I wish it could be as fun as a game. So you're seeing here, she's feeling bad because there's a lot of things going on in her head and her English isn't very great and that makes her feel nervous. It makes her feel worried and she's not feeling like she fits in. Do you feel like that sometimes? Then I realized I forgot my pencil and pen and the teacher said, I won't say this again, but if you're hoping to succeed, be sure to have everything you need. So that isn't very nice of the teacher. You know, teachers are there to be supportive. And if you don't have something, it's okay to ask. It's always okay to ask. Oh, look at how she's feeling at lunch. How do you think she's feeling at lunch today? During lunch, the other kids were kind of rude as I sat alone to eat my food. I didn't get my wish for my favorite ethnic dish. So I think food is a huge part of families and what we grow up eating, and what we're comfortable with. And you know, so far her day isn't that great. Let's see what happens next. When they sent us out for recess, it was clear that some students didn't think I should be here. I would have liked to stay inside and my sadness couldn't be denied. So I sat and watched them playing with a ball as they acted like I wasn't there at all. I wondered deep within if I'd ever quite fit in. I simply don't want to be misunderstood and I promised I'd convince them if I could. If only I could make one good friend, one person I wish the heavens would send. Kids, as you can see, the teacher's calling the kids in. Then just before they called us into class, a student came to talk to me at last. What she said to me was, hi, Lily, pleased to meet you. 
I'm Tilly. So she did make a friend. Every word she said to me was a wonderful surprise. All the doubts and fear vanished from my eyes. I felt so happy I could shout after feeling so very left out. So she turned that frown upside down and look how happy she is now making a new friend. And it was very kind of Tilly to introduce herself to make a new friend. Sometimes we have to reach out to be able to talk to others and find a way to make a new friend. That, from that touch of kindness that she shared grew hope that can never be compared. My heart soared and I felt so happy, all because someone cared. You see? And all you have to do is reach out and be that one nice person and I'm sure you can make a difference in somebody else's day. So on the last couple of pages, um, there are some suggestions for act of kindness, some things you can do. You can say thank you. You can leave a kind note. You can make a friend laugh. Write a funny joke and leave it for somebody. I love number four it says to smile. To smile at someone can also, you know, share that happiness and that joy throughout your day. Um, you can be kind to your siblings. You can give a compliment. Compliment is saying something kind that is also true and that is also nice to a person. Uh, make your bed in the morning. You can let someone go in front of you in line. Volunteer your time. Be kind to a classmate. Um, praise a friend for doing something right. So there are some suggestions back here to be kind and spread kindness. And I'm going to leave you with this today. Oh, there's really cute little tabs back here of things you can do to um, share kindness as well. And I'm going to leave you this with this today and ask you to do something kind. What can you do today that can be kind to another friend, a family member, a sibling? Pick one thing and practice kindness. Thank you for listening to the book. Come back soon.